Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of data, specifically at percent bar graphs, and we'll do it in 5 minutes or less. So what we're looking at today is a table, and let's say we had 20 students and they were asked what was their favorite soda, and you see the results over here on the right. And we are wanting to put this into a bar graph, but not just any type of bar graph, a percent bar graph. And what it's going to do is it's going to show the relative value of each of these responses, the Coke, Pepsi, Dr. Pepper, and so on, in relation to each other by making that portion of the bar graph larger or smaller, depending on how many people chose it. Now, the thing with the percent bar graph is that it all needs to equal 100%. So this graph that we see right here, we need to have the entire thing filled in from 1 to 100 and so how we change these numbers into percents is we do two things. First, we figure out the total. How many total people responded to this survey that we had here? And our answer is 20. And so 7 out of 20 people chose Coke. So I'm going to make that fraction real quick. 4 out of 20 chose Pepsi. 3 out of 20 made Dr. Pepper. 4 out of 20 Sprite. So the same number of students chose Pepsi and Sprite, and then 2 out of 20 with orange. So then what we need to do that is next is simply make this into a decimal. Now, to change a fraction into a decimal, you can do two things. You can always divide up. So let's divide our 20 into 7. goes in 0 times, so I'm going to add a decimal and a 0. That goes in 3 times, and that's going to be 60. So I have... 10 left over. Let me add another zero. You can always add additional zeros after a decimal point, and it looks like 0 0.35. So I'm going to call that 0 0.35. But sometimes you have the option of making it that much easier. Let's take a look at my fraction, 7 out of 20. If you can ever do anything to make your denominator 10, 100, or thousand, do it because that's going to be a lot simpler. Because when we're looking at our decimal spaces here, we have our decimal right here, right? Here's our ones place. This first is our tenths. Our next decimal place is the hundredths. And then the third one is the thousandths. So if you can do anything to make an equivalent fraction with a denominator of 10, 100, 1,000, well, then it's simple. And I'm looking at 20, and I know I can multiply 20 by 5, and that is going to make a denominator of 100. So if I want to make an equivalent fraction, you multiply by 5 over 5, because remember, 5 over 5, that just equals 1. Anything times 1 is itself. So this is really the same fraction. It's just looking a little bit different. Notice how I got my 35 a little bit easier. So basically what I can do is I can just take each of these, that 3,500 equals 35 hundredths, and we need to make this into percents, so that's 35%. You move the decimal places twice to the right. I know the trick now. I'm just going to multiply each of these by 5. So that 35 is going to be my Coke. 20% is going to be my Pepsi because 4 times 5 is 20. My Dr. Pepper is going to be 15%. My Sprite is going to be 20%, and my Orange is going to be 10%. So now I have all of my percents. All of my percents, if I add them up, they must equal 100, which they do. Now I'm ready to put them on my percentage bar graph. So we're going to start with our Coke, which is 35%, and we're going to just make a bar on our bar graph. Sometimes percent bar graphs are horizontal, sometimes they are vertical. In this case, they are horizontal, so we're going to say our Coke is 35%. Then our next is going to be Pepsi. That's 20%, but it needs to start from a 35. So that's going to go from 35 to 55, and that's Pepsi. And I'm just going to leave that blank, so we alternate. Next, we've got Dr. Pepper. That's 15. I need to start at the end of my 55, so that's going to go to 70. And that's going to be my Dr. Pepper. Now I've got uh, two left. I've got my Sprite, which is going to hit me up 20 more. That's Sprite. And then finally, my 10% will get me to my 100, and that is going to be my orange.